Hey guys! Hey! How's it going? Chris back here, another video with Aaron. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. And we're going to be doing Rose here too, and he wants to be in the video, but small couch. Yeah, there's only enough room for us, but. So, as you can tell by the title, it's, I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, uh, gaming New yeah. Year's resolution? Resolutions? Resolutions? Know. Yeah. What we want to do in the year 2019 in, like, geekdom. So, stuff like, what do we want to play, what do we want to watch. Movies we want to see. Movies we want to see. So, we're just going to discuss that real quick and uh, have a discussion with you guys. If you guys like to comment down below and tell us what you guys think, uh, what you guys want to do. Um, in my last video, I did tell you guys that I beat 56 games. Well, I added a bunch over the last, what was it, last week? Yeah. Probably last week or two. And uh, I'm at 64 today. I finished my 64th, which was Red Dead Redemption 2. And holy crap. My god. Oh, it was crazy. It was it was beautiful. I've always said that the first one was like the unicorn for me. Like the best game. Perfect game. Red Dead Redemption 1. Second one beat it. Way better. Way better. I don't know. Probably from under there. Okay. She found Venom. Moxie found Venom. Yeah. Now she's she's gonna be Venom. She's Venom. She is Venom. Venom. Hi, kitty. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I brought up the games thing because this year, in 2018, my New Year's resolution for gaming was beat as many as you can. And there's a lot of games where I just flew through just to see the credits, just to see that game done, just because. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't enjoy as many as I should have. So one of my gaming resolutions is take time at video games instead of quantity, quality. You want to sit there and enjoy it. Yeah, I want to sit down and enjoy, enjoy the games I play instead of just being like, hey guys, you know, look at my Instagram. I'm at 64 games beaten this year. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. None of that, please. Okay. So, that's one of mine. It's one of yours. Uh, my, one of my gaming resolutions this year is that I want to actually beat Sword of Mana. I had it when I was younger, but then I lost it. Uh, something to do with one of my family members taking my stuff. And then Chris ended up buying it for me. Six years ago? Yeah, and, like, I started it, and then I stopped it, restarted it over and over and over. Now, this year, I actually want to start it again and then finish it. And my other gaming resolutions are that I actually want to finish Resident Evil Biohazard. Like, I started it, I'm almost done, but I've been away from the game for so long that I just want to stop it, start it over, and then just do a straight playthrough again. We got it at a weird time, too. We did get the game. Well, Chris bought me the game um, as a really early Christmas present. And then we ended up finding out that, hey, we bought this place. And yeah, then, we bought a place, and then we had to move in. The packing, the moving, yeah. the the getting Rowan. <laughs> yeah, Rowan, as a puppy, he took up so much time, and now he's just a big lump. He's, <laughs> he's literally mom. he's literally laying down right there. And he's sad because he can't be on our he, laps. He wants to be on our laps. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um... That's, I guess, a good gaming resolution is beat stuff that we have. Yeah. Right? Like, um, over here, I think <laughs> if you can see if my camera's good enough, I rebought Final Fantasy VII. I have it on the PS1. Um, I bought it so many times, but I never got through Midgar. And everyone's like, you have to play it. It's the best Final Fantasy. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's eight for me was the best but i i have to start taking people's recommendations and uh i'm next year that's gonna be a big one for me i'm gonna i'm gonna beat final fantasy 7 venture out of your little comfort zone a little bit yeah exactly try to get out of my comfort zone I, i'm always uh, i'm such a hard ass when it comes to people like you have to play this game i'm like you don't know me <laughs> you don't know my life you don't know what i like that's just like with me and my games because the style of games that I like to play don't come out very often 
and if they do, they are insanely hard. And you literally get to the first or second boss, and then you drop the control, and you're like, nope, I'm done. done. I'm done. Can't do it. Like over. Evil Within. I really like the game. I like the style. I like the look. But I just don't understand why would they have to make everything so darn hard. It's yeah. It's an, it's insane. It's literally they're like, hey, we're gonna remake the survival horror genre and just put in the survival. Right? Yeah. It's scary. It's scary. It was when I, when you first started playing it, and we haven't got back to it since. But like when you're in that butcher shop thingy, yeah. I was like, this is creepy. It's Nopeville for me. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Chris, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, cat, the cats are just destroying the being house. a goof. Destroying the house. Yeah, so it's, I, I, I think you're going to try to say that. Yeah, um, uh, normally with Chris and the games that I play, horror it's, games. It's, it's it's pretty much like he'll sit there, he'll watch, and he'll be like, ah! Yeah, nope, don't want to <laughs> nope, know it. Nope, <laughs> whole bunch of nope. Don't come up here. Oh, here comes the baby. Yep, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can do it. I don't know if come you can. On. Yeah, can you? He, there you go. boy. That's a good boy. 90 pound lap dog. Oh. Such a crazy dog. Kisses? Mommy he, kisses? He doesn't know what we're doing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he doesn't boy. Get it. Oh, I love you. I oh. love you, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and camera. Yeah, you're on camera. Say hello to your internet fans. Huh? He's like, nah. No, okay. <laughs> Not these plebs. <laughs> these oh. plebs. Yeah, I know. You want to lay down? Lay down. There, there you go. go. There's good a boy. good boy. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, another one, another thing I wanted to talk about is the beat games that, like, well, I was just saying, beat games we already own that are in our backlog. Instead of buying just new, 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 I have a wall of games all over this place that <laughs> I want to want to play and beat at the same time. Like, some of these games I haven't even beaten and I'm looking at these and like wondering why I have it. It's because all the new stuff has come out and taken all my time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so backlog, try to finish that. Um, I talked to Chad Bailey and uh, wanted to talk about finishing RPGs. He's a big RPG nut and he, he kind of gives me shit that I don't finish my RPGs. So I'm just going to start doing RPGs and... Try to plow through them. No, well, not plow through them. Nice. I just said I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Enjoy some RPGs. Some nice stories that just bring a tear to your eye. What? Make you cry. Like Red Dead Redemption 2 did. Oh, those feels. So, yeah. So, that's, I guess, would that be the, the video games, I guess, that we want to do gaming? Yeah, that would be the video games. So pretty much enjoy games instead of just beating them. And that, that's one thing I, I, I didn't realize this year. is like when, when I hit 30, I was like, all right, I already beat my record of 22. And I'm like, let's keep going. Hit 64. Like, I bought... Uh, there's a game over here. It's called the Beat 'Em Up B Bundle. There's like seven games on there. They're like an hour, maybe two hours tops each. And I plowed through them in a night. That's seven games done. In one night. In one night. Yeah. Right? And I, I did enjoy them. They're just beat em ups, right? They're quick, easy. Well, I would say easy for me, because um, I'm the best. No, it's because I just like beat em ups. Uh, they're, they're really easy, really, really quickly done. Um, yeah, just start enjoying games. For me, it would actually be starting and finishing them, because I always have a lot of stuff on the go. Like I do other projects around the house too. Like I do diamond painting now. Oh, it's so fun! I love it. Um, trying to wrap up a lot of my Unsolved Mystery episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got Amazon Prime, and uh, we got it for... A year? No, yeah, but what did we get it for? I forget. Was it Parks and Rec? Yeah, it was Parks We got and it for Rec. Parks and Rec, and we went through that thing. Loves it. Uh, we love it. Loves it. We love it. Loves it. Loves it. <laughs> and then we watched Community, and we're like, trying to find other stuff. There's like, Common Writer... Uh, Amazon, which I have to finish on that, and then she's like, "Oh look, unsolved mysteries." I used on to there. watch this as a kid. It's not like it's there. These unsolved mysteries are now solved, right? It's I, I find it hilarious. She loves it though. She loves it so much. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Especially stuff anything to do with uh, paranormal. Yeah. I'm 
I'm all over. Those are my favorite episodes, actually, of Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, the UFO. It's like the UFO stuff. Yes. I love it. I love it. Uh, The murder stuff, not so much. No, I think that's probably because both of us came from backgrounds where our parents were always really into the forensic science. Forensic files. My mom. My mom. Constantly. A&E. That's, yeah, it was yep. glued on the A&E. We couldn't change the channel. Yeah, on so, uh, what is it, um, Cold Case File. Yeah. And then what's that one? It's a Canadian one. I don't know. Uh, Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Yeah, Exhibit A. Yeah, that was another really, really big one just because, like, that's a Canadian-based one. So it's, like, ingrained in her in oh. her head that she has to watch these. Well, so, but it's also good to know this stuff, too. So finish Unsolved Mysteries. Yes, finish Unsolved Mysteries. There's a There's a... New Year's resolution for you. Finish Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> um, yeah, movies. We were actually talking oh, yes, about, about this before we were filming. Uh, it's going to be a crazy year for next year, especially as Marvel fans that we are. Oh, yeah. We got Captain Marvel, which is crazy. Spider-Man. My, uh, my celebrity crush. She's on there. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man, Far From Home. I think, I it's, think, it's, I far think it's Far From Home. Home. Uh we're, we're Marvel fans. What's the movie called? <laughs> we think. <laughs> we think. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, so Spider-Man, and then the the finale endgame of, of Infinity War. We just... Avengers. Yeah, Avengers Infinity War. We rewatched Infinity War actually two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Two days ago, around at like 1 a.m. And we were just like, hey, it's on Netflix, let's watch it. And like... Oh. It still brought the feels. Like, you know what's happening. Oh, you yeah. know what's going to happen. And you're like, this is... You still want the outcome to be different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. The, the four, what, 14 million 800? Or 14 million 504 or something like that. Outcome. Outcomes. Watching it again, you're like, maybe this one's the run. Right? <laughs> maybe this, this one's, one's the different. outcome. <laughs> so, so we watch it again and the outcome is the same. Um, so yeah, Marvel movies. We're going to watch a bunch of that. Hopefully... Maybe one day uh, we'll go watch it in the theaters, but with this big guy. We need to find a row sitter. We need to find a row sitter. Uh, he's one of you guys want to take care of him. Look, at, he's really easy to take care of. He's a potato. He's a giant 90 pound potato. Oh, he's the best boy. He's the best boy. But it's just the only thing is because his Addison's, we. He sometimes needs to be monitored. Yeah. He needs his pills sometimes. But No, he needs his pills. Yeah. Not sometimes. He needs them. On time. On yeah. time. Uh, so, yeah, movies. New Year's resolution, watch more movies. Yes. Uh, anime, we finished High Score Girl on Netflix. And it was so good. It was great. If you guys like arcade, an- like arcades at all, if you like video games at all, it's for you. Oh, yeah. Like, it's it's perfect. It's it's the video game lover's anime. You guys gotta watch it. It's on Netflix. It's awesome. Watch that. Uh, 2019, Evangelion is coming out, and I want to watch that. I've never finished it. I've never even seen it. You've never even seen an episode? No. This actually stunned him. He was playing Red Dead 2, and then he almost dropped his controller, <laughs> and he's like, what? How could you not watch? <laughs> he's asking me if I'm real. Yeah, are you real right now? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, we got anime, um, video games, be- our bat blog, I guess, and uh, what else? Like, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's a couple projects we have around the house. But yeah, well, uh, yeah, for that, but that's for like summer. That's, that's the boring stuff. But this is video games and geek stuff. <laughs> no, we we got a lot of stuff planned for the house too. Uh, we have an extra room that's an addition, and I was thinking, we were thinking, to make that maybe into a bigger room, a bigger bedroom, and or a new game room, like move this because it's bigger. It is, is it bigger? I think it is bigger than this room. I think it might be bigger because I think the bathroom here takes, takes up, up a lot of space. It does. So yeah, I think it's bigger. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> She's like, not on, not on camera, okay? <laughs> not on camera. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Yeah, 2019 is going to be, it's going to be lit. It's going to be great. Uh, 20, 2018 flew by. It did. Uh, I, I, you blink and you miss it. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to lose any weight. <laughs> Me either. I gained it. I gained weight. This boy. 
This guy. Came this late. guy survived 2018. That's good. Thank goodness. Yeah. It was a it was a tough year for this boy. Yeah, it was pretty tough. But he survived. Good. And he is doing so good now. The the kittens aren't kittens anymore. They are, as I like to call them, chubby wubbies. Chubby wubby kitties. Oh yes. Um. So yeah, 2018 in gaming was crazy good. Like yes. Spider Man. You see my last video uh, <laughs> talking about my top five of 2018. Crazy year. And then 2019 is gonna be even more nuts. It's gonna be insane. Yeah. So we're gonna have a lot, lot on our plate. But I guess we're gonna end it here. Yes. Right. So we like to hear you guys's, your guys's, guys's, your people's, uh, your comments down below. <laughs> what are your game resolutions, New Year's resolutions, if any? Um, entertainment. Entertainment stuff, right? Do you crochet? Tell us what you crochet. Do you like to crochet Pokemon? Little Pokemon guy? Do you like doing... Stuff? <laughs> Tell <laughs> us. <laughs> Tell us if you like doing stuff, because we like doing stuff. Yeah. Okay? And we like your stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then, you guys made my year, last this last month, I've had over 2,000 views. Which and, is awesome. Which is awesome, in two videos. Like, that's crazy. I, I've never seen anything like that on my channel, and I, I totally appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making my year. Um, yeah, and let's let's make 2019 an even better year. Yes. <laughs> so, for, uh, my, for myself, for Aaron, yeah. for O, Happy New Year, and see you later. See yeah. ya.